My name is Nancy Stenson. I'm working in the School of Psychology in UCD. I come from a linguistics program at the University of Minnesota, and I'm working with a psychologist on a collaborative effort to improve reading in Irish and the teaching of reading in Irish. We're assessing the challenges that teachers and learners face in learning to read Irish and preparing materials that will help teachers teach more effectively. I first heard about Marie Curie through the research projects manager in the school of, or the College of Human Sciences in UCD. Um, my colleague and I were applying for a Fulbright Fellowship, and she pointed out the availability of the Marie Curie grants and thought that they might be appropriate for the work we were proposing, and so we decided to apply for that as well. I was in the right place at the right time, essentially. I was about to retire from my university in the States and was interested in extending my research in a new direction. Um, I'd always researched Irish, but not with educational applications and the idea of collaborating with a psychologist in a new domain as a kind of capstone to my research career really appealed to me and it was coming through at exactly the right time to um, make me available to be in Ireland for an extended period. The benefits of the fellowship are the opportunity that it's given me to extend my research in a new direction, something that I might not have been able to do given the constraints of my teaching um, demands when I was still teaching. I'd say the highlights so far have been the opportunities to uh, present our work or aspects of our work in several international venues through invited talks in universities in Wales and Germany and through an international conference in Canada. Another one will be coming up in the UK in the summer. Marie Curie actions are a great option for researchers, especially in the social sciences and humanities, I'd say, because of the focus on collaborative interaction among people. It's not tied specifically to work in a lab or to development of technological equipment and so forth, although I'm sure that can be a part of it. Um, but many grants are so focused on that that the human interaction part is not really there, and I really find it very helpful to have that and the ability to collaborate and the opportunity to learn new disciplinary approaches while working in my own field. The best thing about the Marie Curie Fellowship, I'd say, is the length of time that's available for completion of the research. In my own field, at least, many grants are often rather short-term, lasting only a summer or a few months or at most a year. And to be able to conduct the research, do the background preparation while funded, and at the same time have time to conduct the research without constantly feeling we have to cut corners because it's running out has been a real blessing, and I've greatly appreciated having that time available. I don't know the Horizon 2020 program specifically, but I have already, in fact, recommended to a colleague to apply for the grant, a fellow Fulbright scholar who was uh, on the program with me right before I began my Marie Curie. Um, I recommended that she would she should apply for it when she was looking for funding to continue her work in Ireland. She did last summer, and she has been funded to begin in the following summer. So I would certainly recommend to any other researchers interested in spending time in Ireland on a project that this would be an excellent source of funding.